Are you totally new to painting and curious about whether acrylic painting is for you? By the end of this video, you will know all the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to acrylic painting. Hi, my name is Jodi and I'm a fine art artist. This channel is all about art and painting. The good! Acrylic painting is considered to be a very beginner-friendly material to use. It is so incredibly versatile, you can paint it on any surface that is oil and wax free. This includes canvas, wood, paper, rocks, glass, fabrics, cardboard, metal, and plastics. You can use acrylic paint on almost anything. It dries fairly quickly, so it allows you to complete and finish your projects and paintings pretty fast. Now this next one is one of my personal reasons why I chose to use acrylic paints over other materials. It is water soluble. What that means is you can wash your hands and the paint comes off easy. You can wash the brush with water without needing to use extra products like paint thinners to clean your brushes. All you have to do is swish it around in water or wash it off with just simply water and soap and it will clean up your hands and brushes and materials nicely. As long as the paint is still wet, it comes off really smooth. Acrylic paints are non-toxic. This means that toxic substances that get on your skin will not be absorbed. And when you dispose of acrylic paints, it won't poison the water or the land. What's great about that is that it's less toxic also around pets and children. I personally, I used to have a dog and now I have a beautiful Bengal cat. So anytime I might get on their fur or if they're licking their paw and they step over my paints I can be rest assured that it is less toxic and safer opposed to other materials Acrylic paints is more affordable I'm not gonna go into hyper detail of the breakdown of prices and a different brand That's for another video, but overall when you add up all the costs of the different paints and the different brands Acrylic paints does usually come down to a more affordable, beginner-friendly price. Acrylic paints is very durable, so once it's dried, rarely if ever, it won't crack, peel, or turn yellow. And that brings me to my next point. It stays vibrant. The colors are solid, bright, and bold. It's water resistant when dry, so if you accidentally splash water on it, spill tea on it, it remains totally okay as long as you dry it up immediately after and your painting will remain completely intact. Now it's time for the bad. There's not a lot on this list because frankly, I love acrylic paints. But even as an acrylic paint lover, what's bad about it is that it is fast drying. Meaning you need to work pretty quickly. You have to be aware of the speed that you're painting and the time that you're spending while you're painting. There's your acrylic paints on the palettes and then there's the paints on your canvas that's drying. So you have to be very aware of what's still wet and what's drying really fast and what you can still work with. And if you wanna blend things like creating clouds or you are painting an eyebrow, or grass, or if you're blending two different colors, you have to be very aware of the paint and how much time you are allowing yourself to complete that part of the painting. This problem is easily solved by keeping a spray bottle nearby whenever you're painting. And every five to 10 minutes, you wanna spray your canvas if you wanna keep the paint on your canvas wet for whatever reason, for blending purposes, all these little tips and tricks painting techniques totally for a whole nother video, but using a spray bottle and adding it to my painting process has saved so much of my painting and so much of my paint. It extends the time of how long the acrylic paint lasts before it totally dries up and no longer usable. Now the ugly. If you accidentally let that acrylic paint splash in your clothes, on your floor, on your desk, on your pet, on your hair, on your nails, on anything, and you forgot and you let it dry, it's almost impossible to remove that from your clothes, from anything if it's completely dry. And especially in my early days of painting, I've ruined so many brushes from not keeping them wet and keeping them in the water jar. Once that paint dries on your paintbrush, on anything, it basically stays there forever. Acrylic paint, when it dries, becomes, it's plastic. 
And how do you remove plastic? It takes many years for it to biodegrade and pretty much if you get it on your clothes, it's ruined. So make sure you're either wearing protective clothing or wear an old t-shirt and pants that you don't care about anymore when you're acrylic painting. Make sure you have a cup of water for your brushes and leave them in there in between using those brushes so it stays wet. And while the paint is wet, it's so easy to wash away and clean your brushes with just water. If you wanna be extra, Careful, then have a wet cloth nearby so that if it ever ends up on your floor or splashes on your pet's fur or ends up on your hair or on the table, then you can just simply wipe that off right away and it comes off really nicely. Overall, acrylic paints are so incredibly versatile and the only thing to keep in mind when using acrylic paints is that it dries fast. So keep your brushes wet, keep a spray bottle around, and you're all set. If you like this video, consider giving it a giant thumbs up and consider subscribing. We post videos here every single week, every single month of every single year. Remember to be free, be happy, and if you're ready to start acrylic painting, check out the video on basic supplies and minimal essentials for acrylic painting. See you there.